test your knowledge, hypermedia. Now, the following five questions relate to hypermedia as a part of the information systems and database unit of the IPT course. The five questions are, question one, outline the relationship between nodes and links. Question two, what is a URL? Question three, name the protocol used in a URL. Question four, list the components of a URL. And question five, outline what storyboards are used to represent. Now, I'm going to encourage you to pause the video at this point, and at the 40 second mark, we'll start going through the answers. Okay, so firstly, for question one, outline the relationship between nodes and links. Nodes are the terminals that allow users to access a network system. Links are what allow the navigator to go between the different network locations. So they go up to a node, like such as a computer or a mobile device, and they access the resources of the network, and they get to the different resources of the network through clicking on different links. The links essentially contain different file paths that take users to the data found in one location to another location, and really it's the backbone of how the internet works. Question two, what is a URL? Now, a URL is a uniform resource locator and is a specific character string that constitutes a reference to a resource. So basically, it shows the file path to an actual resource located on a network or on, an in, on the internet. The protocol used in a URL for question three is the Hypertext Transfer Protocol, HTTP, and if you're gonna relate this to the communication systems, um, unit, it is at the application level of the communication systems framework. Question four, list the components of a URL, and they are the World Wide Web, which is the www that comes first to indicate that something's on the internet. Then it's the hypertext transfer protocol, the HTTP, and then usually we get a dot dot slash, and then we get the domain name. Okay, and the domain name is the name of the website and something that usually represents what the website is about. This is followed by the domain extension, which is the .com for commercial or .edu for educational, .mil for military or .org for an organization, and kind of categorize what the website relates to. Is it government-based? Is it commercial-based? And then we might get a geographical domain following that, which indicates what country okay, the website origin originates from. So if it's a .au, it's from Australia. If it's a .gr, it's from Greece. That would constitute the full website, but then we may also have a slash, which then begins a directory or file path. And this is necessary for accessing sub pages as well as um, images and other resources in the site. So that's basically the order that a URL is structured in, okay, when it is being created. The final question is outline what storyboards are used to represent. And basically storyboards are used to plan and display a proposed website layout. So it's created at the beginning to set out the design and map out how the site is going to work. Basically, it also represents how data will be organized on each individual page of the website, okay, or in any type of program where you have multiple interfaces. Okay, so we'll show colors, fonts, and um, different sizes of the elements that are going to be used and may also have descriptions accompanying each um, different square representing each different interface, highlighting these different details about the fonts and the sizes and the colors. So I hope this has given you a good understanding of hypermedia and how it's basically arranged through nodes and links and essentially how a URL is structured and the use of storyboards in detailing how a website may look.